What a friend we have in Jesus. Thank you so much. As we come to the end of the month and we have been consistent in the viewing of our Open Heavens Reflection, taking from the Open Heavens Daily Guide written by Pastor Ia Deboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Patrick Tolani. I'm a pastor with Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. And the topic is a friend in Jesus. The Bible passage is taken from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 20, verses 16 and 17. So Jonathan made a covenant with the house of David, saying, Let the Lord even require it at the hand of David's enemy. And Jonathan caused David to swear again because he loved him, for he loved him as he loved his own soul. The memory verse, John chapter 15, verse 14. Yeah, my friends, if you do whatsoever I command you. Now, David and Jonathan were great friends. Jonathan was genuine and truly affectionate. However, when people are friendly with you based on questionable factors, you'll be wasting your time and deluding yourself to assume that they are your friend. Wait until something happens. They will be the first to abandon you and even persecute you. Such friends in court might have used you for a long time, but the only time you need them, they will deny you and disappoint you. Do not put your trust and confidence in such people. There is only one friend that is closer than a brother. The Bible says it clearly in the book of Proverbs chapter 18, verse 24. A man hath friends. A man that must have friends must show himself to be friendly. And there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. That friend is Jesus. He never disappoints you. Have you surrendered your life to him? As you receive him today and put your trust and confidence in him, he will not disappoint you. The scripture says also, that you must make yourself friendly. Are you making yourself a friend of God? He says that we are his friends if we obey him. Clearly then, obedience is a key to friendship with God. It is not enough to just say that you feel the love for God. You need to show it in action. David and Jonathan's friends was more than words. They were willing to risk their life for each other. Can you say that about your friends and especially our friendship with God? Are we ready to live a life of sacrifice for Him? We must check our motivations for all that we do and let love be the reason for our service to God and others. Do not be motivated by greed, position or selfishness, but rather let love be the driving force of everything that you do. Where God is there, anywhere God is, there is love, and where love is, there is God. When you show love, you are inviting God's blessing. Do you remember the words of that famous hymn that says, What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a brief privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Our action point, the sincerity of our friendship with Christ hinges on the obedience to his commandments. The Lord bless you and see you next month. Bye for now.